My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some country-style pork ribs that I picked up on clearance the other week um, from Tom Thumb. I did a haul video, and I'll make sure to link that in the description box. This is what I use to marinate the um, pork style ribs. I keep calling them pork steaks. And I did marinate these overnight. So I threw away the packaging already. So that's why I am showing you the picture on my iPad. And it's actually pretty good. Howard and I really liked, um, really like this marinade a lot. With it, we are having some corn on the cob that Howard threw on the grill as well. And then I just made a rice pilaf. I had some fresh spinach in the fridge that I wanted to use. So I just sauteed some spinach and then added um, the spinach to the prepared rice pilaf. And then I also added some shredded Parmesan cheese as well. So I'll try to get in a little bit closer. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So Howard and I had a late lunch today and neither one of us are super hungry. So in my freezer, I had this um, traditional British style cod fish and chips from Aldi. I think I got this probably in April around Lent. And everyone said it's a pretty big portion and two people could eat off of it. And so they were right. This is the perfect amount of dinner for us tonight. And it is, I'm sure you probably can't tell exactly on camera, but it's a pretty sizable portion, portion of fish and the fries or chips. So quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see you all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having yakisoba noodles. I have made this several times on our channel before. I do have a video showing how I make my noodles, but this is the um, noodle mix that I use today. It comes with three individual packages of the noodles along with a um, seasoning base. And the seasoning base is dry, kind of like ramen noodle seasoning base. So that's what it looks like. To it, I added some vegetables that I needed to use up that were in my fridge. So I added some fresh mushrooms. <clears throat> Excuse me, I added some coleslaw mix. Um, I also had some chicken that I added and green onions as well. Then I just stir fried it up. It's a quick and easy meal. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Um, it is a slow cooker meal, of course. And so what I've done is just dropped in some defrosted hash browns. Um, the recipe calls for kielbasa, but I have smoked sausage. So that is what I'm using. And you're supposed to cut it up into small bite-sized pieces, which I've done. And you're supposed to add some milk and melted butter. The great thing about this recipe is you literally just dump everything in. Some melted butter and calls for an onion. I'm using frozen onions because I just don't feel like chopping up any onions. And some cream of chicken soup. And the meat is pretty salty, so I probably won't add any additional salt, but I am going to add some onion powder and garlic powder. Here's my garlic powder and my onion powder. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir, and then I'm gonna cover and cook it on high. It says for three hours. Oh, you know what? I forgot the cheese. Hold on. Y'all, I almost forgot the cheese for my cheesy chicken bake. So I'm adding in cheddar. The recipe calls for a like cheddar Colby mix. Again, just using what I've got. I'm gonna add the majority of the cheese in. I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna add the rest of that cheese on top. And then I'm going to cover and let it cook for about three hours. Okay, here's dinner, and I did let this cook for three hours, and good thing I checked it when I did because 
it it did stick to the inside of my crock pot even though I did grease it let me show you so you can see that it stuck and some of the meat got really dark Howard and I tasted it and it doesn't taste really burnt but just be forewarned that it does stick a lot um, I probably could have used less cheese because it did also produce a lot of oil or fat. And as you can see, I skimmed it off and put it in a bowl to the side. Um, but it does taste good. It does have a good flavor. With it, I am serving some green beans. Um, I added way too much bacon, as you can see, but that'll just make it even better. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so today is our five year wedding anniversary and Howard and I went out for Chinese food. So we are having hot and sour soup. It's a large bowl and we're splitting that crunchy noodles. And then Howard got, what are these? Just steamed dumplings? Steamed dumplings. Howard got steamed dumplings. And then this is dipping sauce. I got um, fried wontons and then I wanted to try an egg roll. So that's on the side. And then there is the sauce that goes with that. So when our food comes out, I will bring you guys back. Okay, so our main meal just came. We still got appetizers on the table, but Howard got shredded pork with garlic sauce. And then I got Mongolian beef. And then here is our rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.